to hear this person is actually talking about uh, the right to freedom of expression. People, as you see, people are also asking questions and those are being clarified. We try and uh, speak to the person here to find out. Excuse me, uh, can you just tell us what exactly is going on here? We know you are trying to yes. make people aware. Yes, so I myself am an attorney at law. Uh, I'm a junior lawyer in the Sri Lankan uh, Bar Association. And these are my uh, fellow like, juniors, they are law students. So what we are doing is sort of like clarifying all the doubts the Sri Lankans have at the moment because people are very worked up, like you know, they are like, they want to make a change. What they are lacking is like clarity and they need clarity. So I'm, we are trying to provide that. They need to know like, because all of us are here gathered here, trying to change the system, trying to push the president to step down, right? But it doesn't end there because we need like more change. And we are explaining how president, what happens after that, how the next president comes in. And we are trying to explain like how the legal system works, what are the laws that needs to be changed. And pretty much like clarifying the doubts and giving them the knowledge that they need to make these protests more organized and more effective. Thank you. So there you go. This is the kind of, uh, you know, camps that are being run here. People are being uh, educated, informed, so that they are an informed protester. They are participating after understanding everything and not just joining the crowd because that's a place to be on.